What's up, everyone? This is Lehua here, and welcome to the Superfina channel, where I like to review different products, stream a variety of games, and make candy masks. Today, we are making a ninja mask out of pony beads, and the design is inspired by the game Star Ocean: The First Departure. Star Ocean is a JRPG game, Japanese role-playing game that's a mixture of sci-fi and fantasy. The game was originally released in 1996, and they just ported it to the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch in 2019. I didn't play Star Ocean in 1996, but I did start playing it on the Nintendo Switch and I really like the game. I really like RPGs because it does have a fantasy theme. We have our characters that develop, you see them grow, you work on them, and there's always a really good story. And with Star Ocean, what's happening is our characters planet is infected by this disease that's petrifying their people and they have the help from a star galactic exploration team and somehow they're able to go back in time to find a cure of this disease and we are getting to know different people and learning their stories developing their characters and skills and so on so forth. So I really liked the game and I wanted to make a candy mask uh, showcasing my love for the game. This candy mask is going to be in the shape of a ninja mask. It's going to cover a lot of the face. On my last candy mask video, I made a surgical mask which only covers around the mouth and the nose and chin. This time, the ninja mask is going to cover that plus the cheeks so it's going to look super badass i'm really excited for this i was inspired by the star symbol on the logo of star ocean it's a star bursting and there's about eight points four big ones and small ones and i really wanted to showcase those points and the different depths of the colors so we have about three different blue colors three different blue variations and the background the rest of the mask is black to really showcase let that blue pop out this time i did a candy pattern with numbers and by golly, I did finish this mask a lot faster than I did the surgical mask because I had the numbers. Now the numbers are made in rows, so when I reach, for example, row 12, I knew what colors to put out. So I just follow the row 12 and be like, okay, it's black, black, blue, blue, dark blue, light blue, etc, etc. Oh my gosh, it was so helpful. I will never forget to put numbers on these candy patterns. At the moment, I am streaming the game Star Ocean First Departure. I believe I'm on stream number four. I just finished stream number three. And in the story, we're back in time and we gain a companion. His name is Sius. And we're traveling to this kingdom where there are Astro Knights. And when we first met Sius, we met him while we were trying to buy weapons. And we thought we were getting a good deal, but then CS comes along and is like, Hey, don't buy weapons from this old man. He's ripping you off. And we're like, can you back off? We're trying to get weapons, you know? Because every time when you're playing a RPG game and you visit a new town, you better get those weapons. Like, you better upgrade those weapons because the next area you're going to fight your enemies, they're going to be stronger. So you need to upgrade your weapons, add some attributes to them, and make them more powerful. So you can just defeat those enemies like nothing. End those battles quick. So we got Zeus here weapon blocking us. And we're like, what's your damage? And he just walks away because the old man 
revealed he was ripping us off. We're like, what? What? So we weren't able to buy weapons, so I'm upset here because I can't get weapons. I'm thinking, where am I supposed to get weapons then? If I can't get it from this old man, there's no one else in this town that are selling weapons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then later on, we try to get this quest that is prompting us to visit another town. So like, ooh, yay! And who else is on that quest? CS. Zeus is on this quest too. And I'm like thinking, man, I don't want to work with this guy. He weapon blocked me. And it turned out he was nice. He had weapons himself and he gave us some. I'm like, you know what? You changed my mind, Zeus. You a good man. You's a good man. So we graciously uh, accepted the weapon and we went on to the quest. After the quest, we were like, we like you, CS. You're, you're pretty good in battles. You really help us out. You're fun to talk to. I like you. Want to join our party? Want to join in our adventure? And he's like, sure. So we go on and we get to this kingdom. And it turned out CS is the son of the Lord. This weapon blocker was the son of a Lord. So it's like, no wonder he knew his weapons. No wonder he knew the old man was ripping us off. This man was going to be the captain of the Astro Knights. This man knew his armor. He knew his weapons. He knew his fighting. So it's like, oh my goodness, Theus, I thought you were just this rugged adventurer. And it turned out that you were nobility. You have a backstory. What's your backstory? I need to know more about you. And that was at the end of stream number three of Star Ocean First Departure. We are going to continue playing Star Ocean until we are at the end of the story. I am very excited. It takes me about two to three hours per stream. With that, I am exploring a lot. I'm getting money from the drops from my enemies. I am learning skills. I do a lot of exploration and that's what takes time for me when I'm playing RPG games because I do a lot of exploration covering every option I can see, taking every opportunity I can get because I don't want to venture off and be like, oh man, should I have explored that area? What if that place had upgraded weapons, armor? What if I found chests with like book of money? I do a lot of exploration and I do the story too. I do try to go through the story as fast as I can because I want to know more. I want to know more. It's really exciting to see the story unfold. Uh, RPGs, they are the bomb. Enough chit chatting. I will let you guys go and enjoy the show of this creation, this candy creation of a ninja mask, which was modeled after a Sub Zero back in the day. This ninja mask with a design inspired by Star Ocean, the first departure.
Hey, you are still watching this video. That means you liked it. So don't forget to give it a like and while you're at it, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss future content. The Superfina channel also has a Patreon and channel membership. My Patreons, channel members, y'all are the bomb. Thank you for all your support. Here is a link to the Patreon if you want to support too and a list of social medias. All the links will be available in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have much love, much aloha for y'all and I will see you later.